man, it's this time of year I really miss my wife. And let's not be specific to whether she's dead or she left you. Okay, let's just continue making Christmas cookies. We're adjusting perfectly and have no issues. But I do wish we get a new mommy for Christmas. I think I'm too busy for love. You see, I spend all my time trying to save our town's only hardware store from a- Let's make more cookies. Yeah. Okay. Our corporate takeover of the general hardware store is almost complete. Correct, Holly. These analytics are showing high-end yields for our year-end finance charts with algorithms. It is the perfect place to build my new hot cocoa empire. It's genius. Yes, overpriced, artisan, handcrafted hot cocoa is just what this town needs. You have everything you've ever wanted. Everything except love. Okay, time to close up. Excuse me, are you still open? Who are you? I am Holly St. Bart's. Who are you? I am Chris. Chris Kringle, Terry. Do you own this store? Yes, my father owned it also. Okay. And his father before him. I don't care. Hold on, I'll get my family tree. I am buying this from you in a big corporate takeover and making a hot cocoa empire. Well, now I am conflicted. I hate you, but you are hot. Same. Uh-oh, it's snowing. Oh no, I am stranded. I will freeze to death and die. You should come into the store. Who would have thought this would happen? Do you want to try my hot cocoa? I always have it with me. Oh, Chris, you have some whipped cream on your face. I do? Let me get that for you. Holly? What do you want for Christmas? At first it was to save my family business. Oh? And now it's to find love again because I am ready because you are hot. I think there's a way you can have both. The line goes all the way around the block. Who would have thought that a hardware store that also sells hot chocolate would be a huge hit? Can we make out now? Wait, first you have to meet my kids. You never mentioned you had children, but I will accept them as my own. Kids, this is your new mom. I have no issues with that whatsoever. Me neither. Hello, new mom. Well, what a happy ending. And you didn't go broke with your crappy store. Well, it doesn't really matter. Why? I am a prince. Oh, yeah. Let me just do it one more time just make sure you can focus. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is Lola's eighth grade math trying to find an equation that was perpendicular to a line that broke my brain last night. And we use it for this movie because all Hallmark movies use existing primes. <laughs> so we're having fun making fun of these Hallmark Christmas movies. The truth is, how many have we watched? We watched like thousands. We watched like, all I, of them. I think this year specifically, I need predictable. Mm -hmm. I need happy ending and I want to know it's coming. I want to know exactly what's happening gonna happen. I don't need suspense or thrill. That's my daily life. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. But Hallmark Christmas movies or any of these Christmas movies, I know exactly what's gonna happen. They're gonna I make cookies? It. They're gonna make cookies. They're gonna get stranded. Maybe some kind of model that comes and is like, marry me, you know? Yep, right. like a swimsuit model who lives in a small town. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. and they're all super attractive. Some kind of corporate takeover. Yes, and then there's gonna be like a whipped cream scene where it's like, it's just that. That was a little extra, sorry about that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hey guys, we are working on one more of these, but it's special. It's a musical version, and that's gonna come out next. You didn't even know about this, did like, you? I did. Like, <laughs> that's gonna come out, but it's a musical version of this, and then we'll be done. But anyway. Thanks for being our muse for this, Lola. You're welcome. <laughs> I love these. <laughs>